You're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey. From Chattanooga, specifically. Wow. Welcome to Kilco Whiskey Musings. My name is Brian, and today we are having a very special bottle of whiskey. This bottle was donated to the channel by Jacob Enriquez. I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you, Jacob. I also wanted to say that I did have a sample of a certain type of Chattanooga whiskey recently on a live stream, which I will hopefully remember to post up there. Now for the internal struggle that is opening a bottle. There's a little strip, but boy is it hard to see because it's made out of clear plastic. Ah. Plastique. That's a lot of cork right there. Didn't make any noise at all. I mean, that's a lot of cork. Probably why it didn't make the noise quite right. First drink of the evening, so you know, might as well just... Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh. Clarify, the seal is good. Just interesting. I've never seen a cork like that. Almost reminds me of a wine cork, sort of. One thing I want to point out before I forget is 111 proof. Yes. On with the color. That is the color. I like to see. I don't know what it is. I, it's, oh, like I said, this is always just amber to me. And I've heard many other different things that seem like they're yellow or golden color. So, meh. what do you think? Some could say it's like molasses colored, like a light molasses. I don't know. Anything like that. Begin nosing technique. Whoa. Again, if you watch the stream from recently, this is not what you expect. It's like a brown sugar thing, I think. Someday I'm just going to eat some brown sugar to make sure that's what I'm actually getting. And a little bit of fruit, which I like. I just got a funk. Not a horrible funk, but something I'm unfamiliar with. It still smells sweet, but there is something else there. Which I think might be malt. Not 100% sure. But it does have this peculiar sort of light fruitiness. That chocolate? What the heck was that? I'm trying to figure out if that note I'm getting is like a plum, grape, raisin. Which one of those is it? I'm, again, it's something. One of the best things about nosing whiskey, though, and just pulling out, you know, whatever you can get from it. It's your experience, so technically you're never wrong. I keep getting this weird chocolate thing, and I just got, like, a coffee thing out of it, too. That was neat. I guess something I should point out is that this does not smell like it's 111 proof. But it is. And I think I'm getting that grape thing, but I have a feeling that's also something that's just been implanted in my head, and it's always there now whenever I smell something. So, well, we'll see. I've been smelling this too long. My, my, my salivatory glands are going a little bonkers. As he keeps nosing. Mm -hmm. Now we go on to the palate. Oh, spicy up front. Good spices, though. Ah, whoa. Whoa. -hoo -hoo. I got like baking spices, a lot of them. Cinnamon and nutmeg, I think. Whoa. It does drink like it's a little airproof. But it's not too bad. It didn't hurt as badly as most of them do. I've had a sip that fruit note is a little more pronounced. And I swear there's a malt funk on this, but I don't, I'm not even sure if this has got malt in it. I assume it does. Assume it does. As per usual, the first sip is just to sip it and see what happens. And this is where I try to get a little analytical. Hold on the tongue for, you know, 10, 15 seconds, if that. Until it starts to really hurt, you know? Ooh. Ooh. Oak and dryness. Spicy. Tingly. Yeah, it did have a weird drying effect. I think that's malt. Maybe? It's maybe like, like a malted chocolate thing. Or like a Whoppers. And a number of baking spices. I'm surprised at the drying thing. Like I take a sip, it's like liquid. Lovely. Hold on. Hold on. I 
I guess I'd say a dark chocolate thing, maybe. My mouth feels like it's hot too. It's I, I mean the proof is there, but it's not overwhelming. And then the whiskey reviewer read the bottle. And crafted in small batches, our Tennessee high malt is made from four grains, including three select specialty malts for distinctly rich and complex character. I know I feel a little silly, but also I'm glad that I'm not wrong in finding some kind of malt thing in here. I like. I have to say, if this was given to me, and I was told it's a bourbon kind of thing, I mean, again, Tennessee whiskey, so... <laughs> I look at it, and I think bourbon. I smell it, and I taste it. I kind of think it's scotch. A little bit. It's kind of like in between, which is a very interesting experience. As per usual, I'll be using the app, link down below, in the doobly-doo to find out a little more about this whiskey and what others have thought when they newsed and drank it. Oh, this is where I like to see a bunch of stuff in the little flavor wheel. But first, the average price paid for this is around 45 to 50 bucks. Community nose profile, this is glorious, you have no idea. Honey, dark chocolate, fruit, pastilles, oh. leather upholstery, lavender, oak, New cowhide, spicy malted barley. To be clear, that is spicy and malted barley. Community flavor notes are dark chocolate, nutmeg, oh, molasses, fruit, pastilles, pastel, leathery, earthy, oak, spicy, malted barley. And the community finish, marmalade, allspice, milk chocolate, fruitcake, oh, vanilla, nutty, and oak. Now, for some of the official overview information, origin is Tennessee, USA. ABV is 55.5%. Mm -hmm. Type, straight bourbon, aged two years. I don't know why, but whenever I read these, I feel like I have to do that Southern Gentleman voice. I probably shouldn't. Handcrafted from a single fermentation in small batches. Chattanooga Whiskey 111 cask is the unfiltered barrel strength expression of our signature Tennessee high malt. By omitting the traditional filtration process, cask 111 is able to retain every bit of flavor and complexity from the rich ingredients and long maturation process. The mash bill, yellow corn, malted rye, caramel malted barley, and honey malted barley. And there we are, another lovely whiskey down the hatch and uh, completely different from normal bourbons so if you want to try something a little exploratory and uh, are curious about how your palate responds to malt give it a try till next time live long and prosper don't forget to be awesome that's all you. thank you for joining me on kilco please remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time